Captain Rawling. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome from Thailand, Dinda Nye. And from Australia, Gurkhan Ozkan. Listen to the crowd casino explode. That can only mean one thing, the emergence of the supreme fighting machine, Gurkhan Ozkan. Here is a man who personifies power, a ticking time bomb just waiting to explode. The question is, will Gurkhan Ozkan explode upon his Thai opponent here tonight? Well, Michael, uh, as is standard for Ozkan, he's a big starter. He'll start like a bull at a gate and miss the first round and the question is whether the tie then the nine will uh, sustain the barrage of punches that you can surely bet will come from Gurkhan Oskan in this the first round okay we're going to get rolling with the world super middleweight championship then die Naya and Gurkhan Oskan Australia versus Thailand world super middleweight championship proudly sponsored by Crazy John Five rounds, each of three minutes, two minutes break. This is what I call, when I say stop, stop, and I say box, box. Break up, take head off. Crazy Johns. We are ready to rumble our second fight, Australia versus Thailand. Representing Australia, the supreme fighting machine, Gurkhan Ozkan, and from Thailand, Dendanai. Scheduled for five by three minutes. Third man in centering, the living legend, Dave ready? Hedgecock. The Mong Kong traditional Thai headwear being removed from Dendanai and the fight's underway. Look out for the power, the fists of Gurkhan Ozkan, the fists that have put away 24 of his opponents in the first round. Dendanai just stalking Oscar at the moment. It's slapping leg kick to that inside left thigh. The last time we saw Oscar in action against the Thai opponent was against the great Chung Kwek Kyatsong Grit, who he knocked out in two rounds. Didn't just knock him out, he annihilated him, didn't he, Mark? Well, he certainly did, and it's interesting to note Michael Dendanai Southpaw. So whether he switches into the fight or not is another thing, but uh, at this stage he started as a Southpaw. Pick it up, boys. Pick it up. Ozkan, the ticking time bomb, just waiting to explode. Will he explode here in the first round, or will he bide his time? Big right hand there from Ozkan, trying to find his way through the guard of Dendanai. I think what Ozkan has to do, he's got to fight his own fight and not do as we've just seen with San Solomon and uh, try and take the ties on at their own game. Ozkan, connecting there, the left hook and a right hand to the face. Almost took Dendanai's head off. The ticking time bomb has exploded over against the ropes. Dendanai taking incredible punishment. But the Thai fighter soaks it all up and fires back. Oskan hit him with everything. He set the kitchen sink. Here he goes stop, again. Get back, stop, stop, the supreme stop, fighting stop, machine stop, has exploded stop. like a house on fire. Oskan drilling the right hand to the body. Tying up Dendanai. I hold the rope. I hold the rope. Incredible intestinal fortitude from the Thai fighter to withstand that punishment so early in the fight. One minute 55 down in the first round, Mark. Well, there's that explosion I said earlier that uh, Oscar is renowned for. Here comes Oscar again. A thunderous overhand right. Break, step back, step back, step back. guard looking successful at the moment. Can Oscar find his way through? Can he plant one on the kisser? that will say good night to the TIE fighter. Big right hand from Oskan again. What Oskan doesn't want to do is become predictable. Okay, right. The back, the back. By constantly the back. moving in with those uh, overhand rights, left hook overhand right, that he's renowned for. Because once the TIE figures it out, he'll surely come up with a counter. Under 20 seconds to go, an overhand right, left hook there from Oskan. Nice combination. Dendanai, he's been hit like a Mack truck here in the first round. He still looks surprisingly uh, ginger, Michael. He's not, uh, he's not too phased by Gurkhan's power, which is something we don't often see. 
I can tell you in uh, Gurkhan Oskar's previous fights, when he's hit opponents with that sort of an overhand right, they've been out for the count. But uh, this Thailand here, Dendonai, he's, uh, he's taken it, and I'm looking, uh, looking into his eyes very, very clear. Okay. Okay. Listen to the instructions. When he's in close, just let him grab him. Don't brush him. Try and line him up with your other hand. When he's in southpaw, move around to the right. When you get that right hand in again, all work it up with the uppercut. All right. Left, left, left. Set him up with that way. All right. He's not. What if he if he set him up? Let it all hang out. You're practicing. We see Gurkhan loading in with a body shot and coming with the left hook. Glancing off, then denies face, and there's a big right that caught the tie sweetly. And as I said, I have not seen too many people absorb this sort of punishment from Oskhan and remain standing. So this tie is certainly one strong contender. And uh, looking into his, uh, his eyes, still fairly lucid, like he's, uh, he's, not, he's not at all uh, phased by, by uh, Oskhan's power. Punches in that round, 30 connecting punches by Oskan, two to the tie. In, in respect of that, we've got uh, kicks, only one effective kick by Oskan, seven to the tie. But still, uh, you'd have to say if you were scoring it as a, a punching battle, uh, Oskan would have to uh, would have to have the uh, the goods there. There's Oskan powering in with that inside leg kick, and the tie once again absorbing a massive amount of punish, uh, punishment to the head, and uh, still being. Uh, you know, good enough to uh, to fire in some knees underneath the head contact. So this uh, Thai boy has seriously impressed me with uh, his ability to take the knocks of Oskan and uh, still stick to his game plan. We're underway in the second round of action. Gurkhan Oskan from Australia, Dendonai from Thailand. Oskan looked to have his measure in the first round with those powerful fists of his, like heat-seeking missiles they were. Can then that I fire back here in the second. Another tentative start by both men. It was in the last half of the first round that Oskan really exploded upon him. And you feel that Oskan is just measuring off his distance and waiting to strike again. Moves him with a straight right hand. Oskan's coming over the top of that right hand as Dendonai throws a rear roundhouse kick. Oskan just forcing Dendonai back against the ropes. Dendonai off the knee. A back elbow there to the side of the head from Gurkhan Oskan. Dendonai calling him forward, taunting Oskan. I don't know if that's a wise move. Certainly a brave man, this Thai fighter. Oskan just lining him up. He's got that right hand cocked and ready. Leg kick by Oskan. I'd like to see Oskan using his lateral movement a bit more, Michael. I feel he's just too stagnant and he's uh, just getting a tie, get too much of a fix on him. Come the later rounds, if, uh, if the battle is still continuing, you don't want to let the tie get a fix on you. And I think that's what uh, Sammy Solomon did in the earlier fight. That uh, probably saved him a little. He didn't let the tie get a good fix on him in the later rounds. Dendonai calling Oskan forward again. Oskan going head hunting with that right hand. Dendonai ties him up. This is where the tie fighters are most comfortable in the grappling situation. They lock horns over in the neutral corner, and referee Dave Hitchcock is there to separate them and keep it nice and clean. Dendonai just measuring off Oskan. Well, it's a. Uh, a Thai tradition that you never show how hurt you are and you always try and remain looking supremely confident in order to try and demoralise your opponent. Oskan has exploded yet again in the second round. Dan Denai on rubber leg straight over against the ropes. Taking incredible punishment to the head. That's how Gurkhan Oskan annihilated Chunk Prek Katz on Britt a couple of years ago. He's on a similar demolition mission here against Dan Denai. The tie has been rocked in the second round. A standing count from Dave Hedgecock. The time bomb has exploded. Gurkhan Oskan goes headhunting. Wild swinging punches from the Australian. And Dan Denai continues to absorb the punishment being thrown at him. What the Thai is going to want to do here is obviously grapple Gurkhan and uh, try and cut off the power of his hands and not let him get any uh, trajectory power. Oskan going hunting with the right hand. 
Defender now has taken more knocks from the front door in this round so far. There it is, the end of the round of action, Mark the Hammer. Another good one for the Supreme Fighting Machine. Well, that round goes down to Gurkhan Oskhan. With that eight count on the tie, you can uh, write that round off to the tie. Fairly even first round. So Gurkhan Oskhan certainly, certainly uh, putting up a, a strong battle here against a uh, up-and-coming Thai fighter in Dendanai. We see the, the guys mixing it up and Gurkhan absolutely unloading on Dendanai. A lot of those punches catching him on the arm, however, as Dendanai tries to put the grapple on. There you see it affected there and referee Dave Hedgecock steps in to break it up and applies the count. Once again, we see Gurkhan absolutely powering up on the tie. That hook just missing. Lucky for Dendanai. But Gurkhan's coming in with those left and right hooks. A little off range. But I tell you what, if one of them lands, it's going to be all over. Seconds out. Round three. Second out. We're underway in the third round of action. On my scorecard, it's two rounds for Oscar. Then deny absorbing incredible punishment. Wires up a high left round kick. That's his real leg, of course, fighting south for us, Mark mentioned earlier on. Okay, break, 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 step back, step back, clean break, clean break, clean break. If Den Denai follows Thai tradition, this is where he is going to start to turn up the pressure on Oz Khan. Work those whipping round kicks to the ribs and work the knees. Oz Khan comes through with a nice right hand. Den Denai, good knee to the ribs there. Oskar just has to watch when he leads in that with a big right hand, but he doesn't leave himself exposed on the way in because then I will rip in that uh, that left leg and uh, or left knee to the face as he drops his head following the right hand. A knee to the face there from Dendenai, the uppercut from Gurkha and Oskar. Blood trickling from the nostril of Oskar. And Dendenai just dumping his little canvas. Right on. Outside leg kick by Oskhan, rushes the tie over against the ropes. They lock it up. Oh, break, step back, step back, break. Den Denai just stalking him. Oskhan fires through that right hand. Den Denai trying to lean and get the knee to the head and midsection of Oskhan working that left knee. There was four consecutive knees thrown there by Dendanai to the uh, to the body and the upper, re upper uh, chest region of uh, Oskhan. Step back. Step back. Those will earn Dendanai valuable points. Oskhan just ducking under the round kick. It was well timed. Collects him there with a nice short right hand. Oskan now moving laterally, as you said he had to do last round, of course, Mark. There's the round kicks to the head from Dendanai. But Gurkhan has a tendency to drop, drop his, uh, his face down when he's preparing to throw a right hand. But I just feel that the ties are starting to, uh, to pick up on that. So he's going to want to stay upright when he lets that right hand go, Gurkhan. A knee from Dendanai and a round kick. Oskan fires back to the straight right to the kisser. Okay, keep going, break, let go, let go, let go. And then the I just trying to wear down the machine against the ropes. A capacity crowd here at the Crown Casino. Bring it up, brought bring to it you up. by Tarak Solak. Two knees in succession there off the left by Dendenai. Oskar needs to get out of the corner. He doesn't okay, want to stay there and trade back. knees with the tie fighter. The referee Dave Hedgecock trying to keep it as clean as possible. 
into the third round of action, Mark. A more even round, that one. Maybe even going Dendenai's way. I'd have to say, Michael, on uh, my scorecard, I'd give that round to Dendenai because he did have uh, a lot more knee attacks. As I said, four consecutive knees in, uh, in one exchange there. And uh, Gurkhan, uh, let's hope that he doesn't tire. Sometimes he has a tendency to tire as fights go on, um, as he did in, a, in his uh, epic battle with Ian Jacobs. 17 knees to one in that round to the tie. So the tie uh, landing, 17 effective knees. Uh, Gurkhan, on the other hand, nine effective punches to the nice one. Go to your left and hit him with the right hand. When he's close, just grab him. Don't wrestle him. Don't fucking wrestle him, just grab him. Okay, let the referee break it. Hold him tight. Move to your left. Hands up. Hit him with the right hand. Do not step to your right because he's going to get you. Don't duck. He's going to get you. Can you miss that? As the tie hitches up his shorts and goes to work on the inside on Gurkhan there, you see a connecting knee to the solar plexus. Gurkhan now fending him off with his forearms on the other side of the camera. So... The tie really uh, just tying Oscar up and going to work with his knees, which of course is, uh, is the strong point to the ties. Interestingly enough though, not too many elbow exchanges in this bout today. Thank you, Kelly. Second out, round four. Dave Hitchcock gets us underway in the fourth round of action. On our unofficial scorecards, Ozkan taking the first two, Dendenai taking the third round. Lines him up with that high left round kick. Ozkan letting himself be back into the neutral corner. There's the high left round kick again. A knee to the head there from Dendenai. A caught Ozkan sweep to the side of the head. And Dave Hedgecock just having a look at where the knee connected. What's happened there? It's opened up a cut. Is it over? Well, pandemonium in centering at the moment, Mark. They're attending to yes. Gurkhan Oskhan, who copped a high knee. Ah. He did cop a high knee to the head, and the tie has taken this bout. I feel he's just whipped that uh, left knee up to the face of Oskhan and uh, done some uh, serious damage to the right eye, I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, the crazy As the uh, ringside position attends to uh, Gurkhan Oskhan. I think it was that high roundhouse knee off the rear leg by the tie that uh, that's the end of the fight over there in the uh, neutral corner just above our position. Here we see the uh, the clash that stopped that bout. The tie leading in with that high round kick, then getting in Oscar just ducking his head too low, and that's always a, a very precarious position to be in. There's the first knee, second knee to the body. But I feel it was that first knee to the head that did the damage. Then then I just whipped that knee right over the head, uh, over the, the hands rather of Oscan. That's got to be. That's got to be. Uh, uh, actually, I think it's the jaw. It looks like uh, the tie has broken the jaw of Gurkhan Oscan with that roundhouse knee. There you see the, uh, the the fracture as the doctor attends to it. So uh, I was mistaken earlier. It looked like it was the eye. Could have been just below the eye, the cheekbone. But uh, that whipping roundhouse knee ended the fight for 